The music news for the streets, the music news for your beats, the news for the music stuff that you gonna need. We gon' talk about plugins, we gon' talk about gear. If it's news on this music, we gon' talk about it here. Let's go. What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's here, guys. Some, some, some. Hit the keys. Here today to do a quick demonstration over Soundbox by Audio Modern. I'll make sure if you guys do like this content though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe to that notification bell so every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. And let's go ahead and hop over to the website real quick so you can see Soundbox is basically a sampler uh, where you can sample four different layers and it is free. So you can download the engine for 100% free and use this thing. It does not come with any sounds, um, the free version, but you can put your one shots in there and you can do a bunch of cool stuff that you can't really do in other samplers. And I'm gonna show you that here in a minute. It's also gonna come, um, you can get three different packs. So they have three different expansion packs for it. So you got Vox Motive, um, which is basically your vocal chops and stuff like that. You got Chromium, um, which is abstract strings. And then you have Cosmos, which is keys and pads and stuff like that. So they're all $29. I'll demonstrate sounds from all those. So let's go ahead and hop into FL Studio. Check this thing out. So when we pull it up, and it's gonna look like this if you have um, packs. Because if you have packs, like I have the three packs down here, then everything's gonna come up over here. Um, what you can do with this too as well is you can solo through different stuff. So like just drums and guitars and plucks and brass and stuff like that. They're gonna be adding more categories. You know, so you have mallets, you have pads, um, you have keys, so you have a bunch of different sounds in different areas. You have effects, just a bunch of different sounds and stuff in here. So, um, and then once you pull up a pack, it's going to look like this. So whatever pack you have pulled up, it'll look like that on the front page. So I made a little sample beat as always, um, just using Soundbox. This beat is kind of mid, I'm not gonna hold y'all. This isn't <laughs> the greatest beat I've ever made by no means, um, but the sounds are cool. Um, so I'll go ahead and push play. All right, guys, so that's a little sample beat that I cooked up for you guys today. Let's go ahead and hop back in the sound box, check this thing out a little bit more. Um, so as we check this thing out, as we look here, down here at the bottom, um, you're gonna see you have different stuff. So you have different layers that you can add. So boom, you could just turn this on. You see I have this low uh, EP right here. Um, I could add another sound to it really easily. So boom, you know, you can go through different sounds and then just grab one. I'm not even sure what this sounds like. Maybe not the greatest sound, uh, but you know, you guys get where I'm going at. You can find a good sound in here and then you could use it. So that's pretty cool. We'll turn this off here just for a moment. Um, and then over here, um, this takes you back and forth between the screens. So does this right here. You can heart your favorite sounds. So you can just come over here, bam, heart one, and then it'll go into your little heart category. You can save it. You can download sounds out of here. Um, and then you can randomize two as well. I'm not gonna hit the randomize yet. Um, over here, you've got different controls. Um, so as you see here with each layer, you're gonna get controls of each one of the layer. Um, so you would be able to fine tune and transpose. really easily. You got control over your ADSR right here. So your attack, your decay, your sustain and release. Um, you've got effects over here. So you can add effects to each one of the layers, which is cool. We'll go through that a little more depth here in depth in just a moment. Um, but you'll see here, these are all the effects that you're going to get. So you're going to get reverb, delay, EQ, filter, distortion, chorus, phaser, lo-fi, compressor, limiter, noise. So you can add different sounds to each one of the layers. That's cool. You got modulation over here. Um, so, you know what I'm saying? You can assign the modulation basically wherever you want to, which is pretty cool. 
Um, you've got an arpeggiator right here and you can arp each one of the individual sounds as well. So that is solid. So you can add each one of the sounds to be a different arp sound. You have this vector layer and this vector layer is solid because you can turn this on and then you can move the vector layer in between or the XY pad access in between the sounds, but you can make it move too. So you can make it go in like a circle. So as you're holding the sound down, it'll evolve through to the different sounds, which makes this sampler fire. Because if you're throwing your one shots in here, I don't really know another free sampler that's doing this. This is, this is really solid. And then the fact that you can put all the different effects on and you can do so much different stuff. So let's go ahead and go into this stuff a little bit more in depth. Uh, so let's go ahead and hop back over to this page. So let me go ahead and let you guys hear um, some of these presets. So I like this Vox, um, Vox Motive kit right here. I think this kit is pretty solid. Let's go ahead and take it off whatever we have it on. All right, all right, so we're just gonna grab this vocal phrase right here. It sounds like. Now again, what's dope is you can just make these presets your own. So we'll come in here and we'll grab something else. Let's just grab this abstract piano hits and. So that's fire, you know what I'm saying? We just made some little cool little preset right there. And then we can come in and find something else if we wanted to too as well. So we can come over here and let's like find a little bow. All right, so let's turn this on and then boom, we're gonna go get that aged bow real quick. All right, so I've added this astral bow and now this is what it sounds like. Now what's dope about this, if we come over here and hit this vector button, we can turn this on. So we gotta turn vector on first, I guess you gotta be smarter than the vector. And then if I push a button down, so now we can turn on one of these signals right here and then we can hold it down. We can go in this figure eight. Have it go infinite. So tell me that wouldn't be fire for a movie. I think that that would be absolute dope for me. I think that would be really dope. All right, guys. So I went ahead and opened up a new project because I want to show you guys what I like about this this plugin a lot. Um, so if I come over here and I hit this tools icon, it'll bring this up over here. Now I can grab a one shot from my kits over here or I can import it in or however I have to put my, my one shots in there. And so I have this one shot right here. So we're gonna drop this and then you can put it wherever you want to. So boom, we're gonna start it on C3, but C3 is gonna be C5 in FL Studio. So don't worry about that. Um, and then we can extend this all the way across the board if we want to. And now we have that as a playable instrument. All right, so you see where that's at now. So we've got that in there. So now let's go ahead and get a different sound in there. So boom, what we can also do, I guess I should show you guys this before we stop. Um, you have control over panning, your tuning, you can reverse it if you want to. You can change the sample start rate. So you can do that from here, or you can do that from here. Same to sample in, you have control over your fade. So you can fade it in however you want to. Um, so boom, just you can fade the sound in how you want. You got fade out and you got velocity controls here too as well. So let's go ahead and close this out. Let's go ahead and find another. Um... 
We'll use this one too. Let's go ahead and hit the settings. Drop this in here on C. All right, so now we can close this out. We can find another preset. So let's go ahead and just use this one. I'm just grabbing ones at random, guys. Uh, but we can throw this in here too. Boom, stretch this out. Stretch this out. And then we'll use this one too. So boom, let's go ahead and add one more here. So now let's go ahead and hit this little button right here. We'll add this in here. So now the preset sounds like. All right, so let's go ahead and close that down. Let's go ahead and turn the volume down on this one though. So now we have this massive preset that we've created from our one shots. We can come over here to this vector area and we can turn this vector on. And then we can turn on the movement. And so you hear how it's just making the preset sound so much doper. So if we turn it off again. It's just giving it movement. And you can change the sync too, or you can turn the sync on or off. You can make it move as fast as you want to. So that's pretty cool. That's like, this is probably my favorite feature of the whole entire sampler is just dropping your one shots in and then being able to create presets. I just think that's super dope because then you can export presets from anywhere, throw them in this thing and start making some pretty, pretty solid presets. I forgot to mention at the beginning, I can't believe that I did that this is MPE compatible, but this is definitely MPE compatible. So let's go ahead and look at some of the effects on this thing real quick um, before we go on to some presets. So let's turn off the movement on this. Now, when you come over here into effects, you see here, since I have four different layers up, I can put effects on different things. So like on the first layer, uh, we can throw some delay on there. We can also throw, you know, anything on there. We can throw some distortion on there. Then you hear how it's only on just that one sound. So that's fire. You know what I'm saying? Um, then we can come over here. We can grab something else. So let's just grab this chorus, I guess. We can also come over here and we can throw an ARP on one of the channels. So we can throw an ARP on whatever channel that we want to. We'll just throw it on this. So, I mean, I'm saying you can do so much with this little sound engine. Um, you can come over here and you can randomize the volume of the hits, um, the octave of the notes. So just pretty solid, pretty solid there. Um, you know, like I said, you can come over here back to your vector and then you can turn this back on. And now it's gonna be acting all wild. Um,
So you can see how much that changed the preset, right? All right, so let's go ahead and come back over to the front page and let's check out some of these presets. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of play them for you so you can kind of hear what some of them sound like. This is what's in the Vox Motive kit. Now, when you hit one of these presets though, it's gonna have different vocal chops on different notes. So it's not gonna just be the same vocal chop going down um, a note. These are some fire vocals for real. And then I'll play some of these chromium sounds. So you see, these are all going to be like abstract strings and stuff like that. They're definitely doing yard work outside of my window. So if y'all hear uh, any yard work, I'm sorry. I couldn't control it. They're gonna be doing this for hours. I live in an apartment complex. All right, so then this is the next sound. So some fire sounds in there. And then Cosmo is the biggest pack of them all so far. A fire drone. That was still that last female voice I clicked on. That's kind of fire. Oh, 
We'll pick something else at random. I mean, guys, that's what I got for you guys today. <clears throat> I think this is a solid tool, especially for free, whether you grab the expansion packs or not. I know that they're going to continue to make expansion packs for this thing. Um, you can make your own packs in this thing. So it's a pretty solid tool, especially that you can layer four different one shots. And then you can use the vector tool with a bunch of different effects and an arpeggiator. Um, you can just do a whole bunch just inside of this. It just makes it easy to create your own presets or create your own stuff. So that's what I got for you guys today. Uh, make sure if you guys do like this content though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe to that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. Appreciate you guys' time as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Some, some, some hit the key.